What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with a LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Super Graphics, otherwise known as PC Engine Super Graphics games. There are a few really good ones. I think there's a total of five games made for the Super Graphics, but trust me, you will want them in your LaunchBox collection. So it's really easy to set this up. First thing you're going to need is some Super Graphics games. Mine are on my desktop in a folder called PC Engine Super Graphics. Got all five of them right here. I'm gonna leave them zip. Next thing we wanna do is head over to our LaunchBox directory or where we install LaunchBox, emulators, RetroArch. We wanna launch RetroArch because we wanna download the Beetle SGX core. So from the main menu, we're gonna scroll down to online updater, core updater, and we're gonna find super graphics or Beetle SGX. It's listed as NEC PC Engine Super Graphics Beetle SGX. Press enter. It's going to download the core, extract it. We're now done with RetroArch. We can go ahead and exit. The next thing I suggest doing is placing your Super Graphics games in your LaunchBox directory under games. Just going to drag them over here, drop them right in there. We're going to start LaunchBox back up, head over to Tools. Manage Emulators, find RetroArch, and if you haven't set up RetroArch yet, I have a tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. Double click, Associated Platforms, and unfortunately it's not added here automatically, so we're going to have to add it manually. PC Engine, Super Graphics, and you can use the drop down menu here to find the core we just downloaded. Make sure it's checked, click OK and close. Now it's time to import the games. From the drop down menu, tools, import, ROM files. Next, I'm going to add that folder that has all of my super graphics games in it. It's in my LaunchBox directory under games, PC Engine Super Graphics. Click OK and next. What platform are you importing games for? Obviously, we've been talking about it the whole time. This is PC Engine Super Graphics. Click Next. RetroArch should automatically populate. If not, you can use the drop down menu. Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. They're where I want them to be. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Of course we would. I'm just going to leave the very first one checked. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games Database. Next. Would you like to download images? Yes, I'm going to leave everything checked here. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Super Graphics. Click Next. It's going to parse the files. And here's the five games we're importing. Click Finish. Give it a little while to find all of the information we need. It's going to download all of the images and metadata for us. And our five games were imported successfully. Click OK. We can now find the PC Engine Super Graphics section over here in this column. And here's our five games. So a game I've been playing a lot lately is this one here, Aldinus or Aldinus. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but I've been playing it a lot trying to get through it on One Life, and it's nearly impossible, at least for me. Amazing music. We got to test this out. Double click. You'll get these awesome start screens as long as you're on the latest version of LaunchBox. And we can start playing Super Graphics. I will get try. I was actually testing this out recently on an FPGA. Uh, the Mr. Project, really awesome little device. And I just went back and threw it in RetroArch just to see how it performed, and it works really well here. And like I said, I've been trying this game for a while now. I just can't figure out these patterns. To exit, just press Escape on your keyboard, or if you have controller automation set up, you can use the hotkeys on your controller. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You now have Super Graphics up and running in LaunchBox. In my opinion, this is a must-add to your collection. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. 
And like always, thanks for watching.